When working with Carl Fischer titration, one of the most basic concepts to understanding is the glassware. Knowing what kind of glassware you have, how to use it, how to set it up, how to load the reagents into the vessel are all important factors in understanding and how to properly maintain and operate a Carl Fischer titrator. Carl Fischer glassware is composed of a glass vessel for holding the reagents and the sample and generally has three to four ports on top for holding the detector electrode, the generator electrode, and for also introducing more reagents and also injecting the sample. The generator electrode is a larger diameter electrode that creates the electrochemical reaction in the vessel. The generator electrode can come as a single or a dual reagent electrode. The detector electrode is a smaller diameter electrode and as its name reveals, it is designed to detect for any moisture inside the vessel. Caps, seals, and plugs are used to prevent any outside moisture from entering the vessel. Septums are used to allow the operator to inject a sample using a syringe and needle. Stir bars are placed in the bottom of the vessel and work in tandem with a magnetic stirrer to ensure that the sample and reagents mix sufficiently. And finally, desiccant tubes are used on various ports including the generator electrode to ensure moisture is kept out of the vessel. Here we can see two generator electrodes. They appear identical, but examining the bottom of the generator electrode, you notice a white frit. The frit, or wafer, is designed to create a bottom so that a second reagent can be introduced. Conversely, notice the single reagent generator electrode does not have a wafer. Only the clear platinum screen can be seen. Watch now as we introduce analyte into the vessel. In this tutorial, if we were doing a single reagent setup, we would already be done. But for the purposes of showing and demonstrating how both dual and single are set up, we will continue with a dual reagent setup, introducing the catholite next into the inner burette or generator electrode. You have now completed charging your Carl Fisher vessel with the reagents and you're ready to begin pre-titration. Congratulations!